our treasures, our money, our busyness, our jobs, whatever it is. When we start thinking we can do it and we don't need Jesus Christ anymore, we're separating ourselves from him. And God is very serious about that. Jesus says, continues to talk to the disciples. Disciples hear all of this going on. And Jesus says, I tell you the truth, it's hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. It's hard for any one of us when we think that we can do it on our own to enter the kingdom of heaven. And the disciples hear this. He, they hear him say, I tell you, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples are greatly astonished and they said, well then, who can be saved if not this man who's trying to do everything perfectly, who's trying to obey the Ten Commandments, who is doing well in life, if he can't get into heaven, who can be saved? And Jesus says, with man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. God is not serious about money, but he is very serious about anything, whether that's our busyness, whether that's our focus on something else, whether that's our treasures and our money and our finances that's taking away our focus, anything that's separating us from him, God is very serious about. God seriously wants you to know Jesus Christ. Seriously. In Luke chapter 19, we hear the story of Zacchaeus. This is a familiar story that we know who Zacchaeus was. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. Tax collectors, uh, they were looked down upon, to put it lightly. Tax collectors, in order to collect the taxes for the government um, and to live on their own, they also had to skim off the top and they would often steal and they would take more so they could live um, good, wealthy lives. I mean, they were crooks, tax collectors were back then. And Zacchaeus was no different. And here in Luke chapter 19, Jesus says, Zacchaeus, I'm going to stay at your house today. And Luke 19 Zacchaeus is so excited to have the Lord come over. All the people are seeing this happen. The people says, he's gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus says to Jesus, Lord, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Zacchaeus is being serious about his money here, about his stewardship, about giving back to the Lord, about restoring his relationship about doing the right thing. But Jesus doesn't say, oh, well done, good and faithful servant. That's exactly what I asked of you. Jesus says, today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and to save what was lost. Salvation came to the house when Jesus Christ came into his house. God is very serious about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Do you know him? Is he in your house? Is he in your heart? God wants you to know Jesus Christ intimately in your home. It's not about giving all these things of doing the right thing about your stewardship. It's about inviting Jesus into your home, into your life, and having a real relationship with him God seriously wants you to know Jesus Christ. And there's one more thing that God is serious about. And that comes directly after the story of Zacchaeus. And that's our gospel lesson today. It's a funny little story that's awfully kind of hard to understand. After Jesus is talking to the Zacchaeus, immediately after, it says, while all these people were listening to this, to Jesus and Zacchaeus, Jesus went on to tell them a parable because he was near Jerusalem and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once, right away. They thought the kingdom of God was going to come. And he tells them this story about a king. And he's a very serious king. A king who not everybody wants to be their king. And the people who don't want him to be their king, um, they eventually uh, face death. They don't keep their life. 
I mean, this is a very serious king. It's kind of a confusing parable. We're trying to figure out, okay, well, what does God mean by this? What does Jesus mean? That there's a king, and he's talking about the kingdom of God, and that those people who don't want the king, they're not going to live, they're not going to keep their lives. But for others, Jesus is giving them money, pieces of money, these, these minas to take care of. And he says to them, the king does, put this money to work until I come back. A command. A very serious command. The third thing that God is very serious about is mission to go out and to do work in the world. Matthew 28, Jesus says, go. Go to work. Go, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them everything I have taught you. Go, this is serious. In this parable here today, before the kingdom of God comes, the king gives them money, gives them things and says, go put this money to work. Go to work. God is very serious about mission. There are people out there who don't have Bibles, people who don't know the name of Jesus Christ, people who are not in relationship with him anymore. And our God is very serious about us going out to tell them about Jesus. Today and for the next couple of weeks, we'll be continuing to talk about stewardship and it's not the money that God values, that God is serious about. It's not even the things that we do of all of our actions, of trying to obey those Ten Commandments perfectly, of giving of ourselves, of being busy all the time. What God is serious about is knowing us, is knowing you, is having a relationship with you. God is serious about loving you. God is serious about calling you to go out now and to tell other people about Jesus, those who have not yet heard. You know, it's not just the kids at Christmas time that start to get things confused and to start, you know, we get really excited about the presents and, and we forget about Jesus Christ, the biggest present. We adults are the ones who say things like, it's better to give than to receive. And this becomes something, instead of Jesus Christ and our relationship with him, instead it becomes all about what we are doing, that we are giving. God doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about money. He cares about your relationship with Jesus Christ. That is what our God is serious about today. When the disciples heard all of this, they said, Who can be saved? And Jesus said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. It's impossible for us to be perfect stewards, to go through all of these three weeks saying, you know, we're going we're gonna to do good things with our money, with our time. It's impossible for me <laughs> to be the perfect pastor. It's impossible, and I find that out constantly. But with God, all things are possible. And the things that he is serious about is about saving the whole world. That all people would know the name of Jesus Christ. That they would fall on their knees. That they would rely on him for all things. May this Christmas time, these holidays and these stewardship times, would it not be about all of the things that we're doing and the good things that we're doing and our stewardship and our finances and all these things, but would it be about our relationship to Jesus Christ and about sharing him with the whole world?